Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carlin. And I'm Rachel Lucas. It was a high profile affair involving a prominent evangelical couple with political ties. Now the Falwell sex scandal is the subject of a documentary that debuted on Hulu today. Ted News reporter Abby Coleman spoke to the director about the film's shocking revelations along with the message he has for our community. The reality is, is that students and faculty were punished, had their academic careers, had their, uh, their lives in many ways ruined uh, because they were being held to a higher standard by the Falwells than the Falwells were holding themselves. The Christian evangelical circle in America was headed largely in part by Lynchburg's own Jerry Falwell Jr. for years. Scandalous allegations about sex and corruption from a former business partner in 2020 led to the resignation of the former Liberty University president. June of 2020, I got an email uh, sent to our website, like the old contact us button. Billy Corbin is the director of a new Hulu documentary that premiered today. It's titled God Forbid, the sex scandal that brought down a dynasty. He says that the face of the Falwell scandal, John Carlos Granda, contacted him directly. He saw the, the, the country kind of burning around him um, and thought that it was it it was time for him to, to, to do that. The documentary explores the sexual relationship between Granda and Becky Falwell and how that turned into a manipulative business partnership. He is, you know, hypnotized. Uh, and then there's little red flags along the way and they get bigger and more frequent. And then he's like, oh no, I need to get out of here. Corbin says he wanted to tell Granda's story in part for the scandal, but also for Liberty University. There was this disconnect between what they believed, what they were there to learn, what their parents had sent them there, you know, to, uh, uh, to, to, to learn. And there was this disconnect with the leadership under the Falwells that made him feel bad. Both Corbin and I reached out to Falwell, but he said he couldn't comment due to pending litigation. Play the devil's advocate uh, and look at the record and look at the corroboration. And to that end, Giancarlo provided us with a glut of material. Corbin wants people to recognize hypocrisy in the Falwell story. For uh, people in power, and those in, in political office seem to live by the motto, do as I say, not as I do. Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.